A lesson in biomechanics. You can see the, the ligament itself has that complicated twist to it. Using a leg of lamb from a local butcher, this is typically how Donald McNally would teach anatomy. But he's also devised this cookbook for students. So what I'm going to do first of all is just take off the string that the butcher has kindly put on. It's full of recipes, but each one also includes tips and diagrams about anatomy. Got the patella groove, so that's where the kneecap went. It's another way of learning. If all you've got is a something you've learned from paper, a sort of paper image in your mind about what these structures are like, what they feel like, how strong they are, how tough they are. You're going to make decisions that aren't based on everything that you could know. Whereas if you take something apart and you play with it and you feel it and you fiddle with it, you get a much better inner model of what's going on. McDonald's cookbook might not be in the local stores, but it will continue to educate and feed students who take his course. Brady Harron, East Midlands Today. So this is just a leg of lamb that um, we've um, got from the butchers. In fact, if we have a look at it, you can see the ball of the, the hip joint just there. So this is a back leg. So if you think the ball of the hip joint's there, that's the Achilles tendon there. So we've got a right leg. So the idea is that we, um, between the sort of getting the meat out of the fridge and the, um, the cooking of it, we um, have a bit of a dissect so that you can actually see the structures and have a feel and look at them. And that's what's so important about understanding these structures, especially from the sort of mechanics point of view. You can actually hold one and fiddle with it and play with it and see what it feels like. You get so much more of an understanding of what's happening. No, it's not required. It's something that's extra if they want to. And I think, to be absolutely honest, it really rather depends how happy they are in the kitchen. Um, if you're, um, but the, the spare ribs seem to be the, the recipe that attracts them. If you're, if you're studying this sort of thing, you have a picture in your mind. And if you look at pictures in books, no matter how good the books are, they're flat, they're two-dimensional. From some fantastic websites, and there again, if you look at them, they're flat, they're two-dimensional. Um, so this is an idea about getting them to actually get in there and feel what a joint's like. So you can see the, joint, the knee joint moving now. But also to get a feel for what the materials are like. So if you look at this hip joint here, absolutely beautiful. It's lovely and smooth and shiny and that's the articular cartilage. That of course is what breaks down in, um, in arthritis. And you can tell people that cartilage is nice and smooth and shiny and what have you, but until you actually see it and feel it, you just have no real idea.